We are also following developing news out of Akron where a high school student was stabbed this afternoon. This in fact is the second time there's been violence in Akron High School in Akron High School this week. News 5's Remy Murray joins us live from Akron. Remy, what are you learning about this stabbing so far? Hey, Delon, it's another unfortunate event for staff, students and parents at Akron Public Schools. The teen, he's expected to be OK, but the other two suspects who were involved in the fight fled the scene before responding officers arrived. Akron Public Schools is responding to more violent incidents within their district, with one happening today at John R. Buchtel Community Learning Center. Akron police say a 17-year-old has been stabbed following a fight involving him and two other students. Then at Ellet Community Learning Center, Akron Public Schools spokesman Mark Williamson says two fist fights between two students broke out yesterday. Williamson says they were short-lived and would have been over in 15 minutes, but he says one of the student's family members arrived and exasperated the problem. Of course, APS wants schools that are safe. We all do, but that would require hard, hard work and will require being willing to admit when there is a problem, admit that maybe you aren't doing everything possible, and realizing that there could still be work to be done. These incidents come just after parents spoke up at a school board meeting Monday. They say they are frustrated with the district's response to violence and assaults they say are happening inside school buildings. I believe that you're more concerned with not disciplining the students that are causing the violence than protecting the students who are the victims of the violence. Sarah Payne tells members she has been forced to withdraw her students from Akron Public Schools. This student was repeatedly attacking my daughter on the bus pushing her to the floor, hitting her and pulling her hair. The mother says she reported the violent behavior to staff at Reimer Community Learning Center, but it continued even after she removed her daughter from the bus and drove her to school herself. My daughter was playing with her friends at recess and the boy ran over to her, shoved her to the ground, stepping on her face. She was knocked unconscious. I'm very concerned and I think it's very alarming. And I think that you did the right thing addressing the board because this is things that needs to be uh, said and addressed. The incident at John R. Buckle remains under investigation and charges are pending. Anyone with information is asked to contact Akron police in Akron. Remy Murray, News 5.